Death is just as much a part of nature's cycle as life itself. Predators kill for food. Only occasionally does one die from interspecific competition, for example. But this is rare. Any form of physical contact is usually avoided. Teeth that are placed on display are an act of warning to others to beware and make sure to keep their distance. A fight wastes valuable energy, making both parties vulnerable to becoming prey. Sometimes, just walking with a certain swagger is enough of a deterrent. And if you are clever, you'll know out of whose way to stay. Animals will become aggressive with one another if they have a reason to fight. But in reality, it's better to avoid conflict at all costs, because at any stage, who is scared of whom can change. A genuine fight that leads to physical contact occurs infrequently, even if there is reason for it and opportunity. Rainbow skinks lift themselves up to show off their bellies. Bright colors indicate good condition and therefore dominance. It's a way to show off without losing precious energy in a territorial scuffle. Antelope with horns tussle cautiously to avoid hurting one another too seriously. They will lock horns and stare one another down, because if you leave a battle even slightly injured, there's a chance of infection that could lead to death. Animals do get involved in fighting when territory, dominance, or mating rights are at stake. Giraffe bulls hit each other with their necks, and the impact can be heard some distance away. The one swings, and the one sidesteps. They can't advance and retreat simultaneously, so they have to take turns in hitting one another. Some animals clash constantly. But one party will generally give way for the sake of decorum, because even if you're a good fighter, it simply makes more sense to stay alive and perpetuate your genes than just to win a fight.